Hello, it's Wednesday today and I'm starting the vlog really late at a quarter past two in the afternoon. I've been doing all routine things all day since I got up. Also done a lateral flow, which is negative, yippee. I think I might have got away with my little encounter at the weekend. Well, you would think being triple jabbed and having actually had COVID would give me a fighting chance of not catching it and it seems to have paid off. I am very pleased to report that I've got my flute practice done for the day. I am thinking about lunch now, of course, and it's going to be this, which I'm about to microwave. It's leftovers from last night. It's an absolutely beautiful day out there. It's sunny, it's dry and it's warm, but I've been in all day because I've been busy and I have got loads of things I need to do in the house, so oh, but I'm wasting a really nice day. I did go out and potter a bit in the garden. I say garden, it's a big mess out here. I haven't done anything to it, but I started sort of picking up the dry bits of bean plants and I was transferring those over into my compost bin a bit but um, my coffee pot was on at the time so I didn't do it for long. It really is the yard that time forgot out here honestly it's so neglected. Look at this, look how warm it is. I mean I'm a little bit chilly out in my vest but it's doable. If I was walking I'd be warm enough I think. Yeah marvellous. Somebody was asking me how my compost is going and what plans I have for my sort of garden this year. Well the compost is going well I'm just putting things in it you know my food waste usually that's about it. Bits of paper and stuff you know newspaper and things packaging from amazon sometimes um i don't know if it's composting or not really we could have a little tentative look couldn't we i'm slightly scared <laughs> it's all gonna come flying out it shouldn't do should it it should be quite compact oh yeah yeah no that's uh no yes yeah yeah that looks kind of earthy doesn't it loads of worms right i'll shut that down probably because you're all looking the other way in disgust um yes <coughs> oh no i'm gonna hurt the worms now oh, right i might let them wiggle in before i put that back sorry worms oh do you mind i was having a nice rest then yeah anyway it was a lot of effort for very little reward for the veg last year i've got to be honest i was very tentative about using slug pellets because i just felt so mean but they just ate everything basically <laughs> or they were stringy and hard the courgettes were just rotting in the pots i had a good start and then just went horribly wrong so honestly i think i'm just gonna go for flowers this year i might see if my mum wants to get involved because mum likes pottering around and planting flowers don't you mum mum watches the vlogs this is izzy's christmas tree oh it's getting some new growth on it look we put it outside i think it's gonna need repotting look at that poor thing ferdinand i've been neglecting you i will put you in a bigger pot fairly imminently. If the weather stays like this, I'll be able to do some gardening. I've got some lovely weeds coming on in the grow bags. Look at this. Oh, this, yeah, storm newness. My fence is actually caving in. It's falling down a bit, but um, hasn't actually fallen down. I think my boyfriend's gonna sort it at some point, he says. So I just kind of left it. Uh, yeah, hmm. But right now, it's lunchtime. I was supposed to be having a day out with Pippa from the Worms Eye View channel on Friday this week. It's been in the diary for many, many weeks. But if you watch her channel, you'll know she's had COVID and she's waiting for two consecutive lateral flow tests that say she's negative, you know. Well, mm, it's not looking good. She's had another positive one today. It was really, really faint yesterday. And so she was expecting it to be negative today, but it was actually stronger. My vlogs are a day behind. Pippers go out the same night. So if you're a bit confused, today is Wednesday <laughs> in now in my world. Yeah, so if she gets a negative one tomorrow and then on Friday morning early, we'll be able to go. It's gonna take me a lot longer to get there than it is for her. So it'll have to be early that <laughs> I find out. Um, yeah, anyway, so not quite sure what's happening there. Well, I've had my dinner, that was very nice. Now this cupboard, look at this flipping cupboard. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to Wilco because I actually need something which is a new light bulb like this. And I thought, right, well, while I'm going to Wilco, why don't I see if they've got some maybe drawer insert things that I can put in there. So I'm gonna measure that and then just have a look, see what there is. It'd be good if I could have something that I can stack in crisps in one thing you know like stackable cubes with a room to put your hand in and grab stuff one for crisps one for crackers one for maybe chalky bickies not that we tend to have that many but yeah that sort of thing those have gone off actually 
they were a bit soft so I didn't feel like eating them so I'm sure they're much softer now I think they must be out of date it's a shame because they're very delicious things and I know those have been there a long time ew what's that oh no it's alright it's crumbs <laughs> I thought they were insects no it's just crumbs from other biscuits that's fine so yeah I think maybe it's time to get everything out give it a good clean and just start over is that polos oh my word how long have they been there they've got to be out of date <gasps> 2020 oh how embarrassing <laughs> time to do a bit of measuring then i'm sure this will move but to be honest i just want an easy life i just want something that'll fit in there and possibly up here for all these little bits i can never find anything because it's just so jumbly i don't even want to try well let's call that 49 centimeters to be on the safe side uh oh 56 i'm gonna say it's a little bit approximate i'm erring on the slide of slightly less rather than it you know not quite fitting well that's it then oh height yeah i need to do the height chamber number one well that was a bit simpler to do 53 that is a slightly better diagram i'm in wilco right Mustn't forget what I'm in for. I'm kicking my trolley. I'm really glad I found a trolley. I don't usually, I'm envisaging piling it up with loads of big boxes and storage solutions. Oh, there's a cute little travel iron, 13 pounds. Looks like a toy one. I don't use irons anyway, so no good to me, but I like looking at travel things because it makes me feel excited for my holiday. And it makes me feel excited even when I haven't got a holiday. I don't need any of those things. Oh, look, there's Tango, the orangutan on the travel neck pillow suitcases how much are they in here 36 pounds for the gold 44 i presume the bigger ones are 44 those are 36 and these ones are 28 don't need them either oh i've spotted something for my boyfriend here anti-mouse mini sonic mouse repellent 20 pounds he's still got his mouse problem one of them was found dead in with the rubber gloves but guess what they keep going and pooing in his dishcloth box under the sink so he's put them in a plastic box with a lid now oh dear i've totally forgotten what i've come in for it's a good job i brought a list i'm looking at bird feeders this is like the one i had before kind of got a bit um wrecked i want something like this that doesn't get all manky but you can only put bigger things in there like peanuts and suet balls so i think i'm gonna have to get a plastic one again that one looks like a space rocket Oh, I've made my decision. I'm gonna go for one of these, £2.25. I've got seed at home, I've had it ages. Just got out of the habit of feeding them, but I wanna get back into the habit. I think this is the one I want. It's bayonet, daylight, very crucial for me as a vlogger, otherwise my lights make me go kind of orangey yellow and I end up having to sort it all out later when I'm editing. I'm just gonna get the one, I'll keep the packaging, and if it's the right one, I'll come back for more. Right, boxes that's what we need next oh must resist i do not need anything like plates they are very pretty but i don't need them so i'm not going to get them oh my God. Oh. ah we're in the storagey bit look a bit too big definitely i don't even need to get my tape measure out for that one mm, it's not as plentiful as i thought in the box section mm. Maybe. Now I nearly completely overlooked these because it was tucked in like that and it just looked like single trays, but it's not. It's a three tier storage rack. Look at that. How much is that? Eight pounds. I'll just check the measurements and make a decision. It's slightly too high, but I'm thinking if I don't use the wheels, it would be lower. But I'm also thinking what if I just stagger it so that I have two on one side and one at the bottom. I might well do it. I'll have a look see what else they've got. They've also got some over the door stuff here on the end aisle. It might be useful. Oh, I like these collapsible things. <laughs> I don't know why, because uh, I have no use for it. I suppose for a van, that'd be quite good. Yeah. Oh, look, this is a hanging shelf. I was trying to work it out. Look, it sort of threads on, you see? And then you've got that extra bit of shelf. That would be useful as well. How much of those? Four pounds. God, I'm not being very logical. I'm just kind of grabbing things randomly and hoping I can jiggle them around and make them fit. That's 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 because I'm an arty, not mathematical. <laughs> I can always bring them back. If they don't work, they're good like that. 
Mm, they've got corner ones as well, look. I don't think that's quite the thing for me. Right, I think that's probably where I'm going to stop for now and see how I get on. I can always come back for more, couldn't I? No, it should sort of fit. It should fit. <laughs> I got my tape measure out. I got sensible in the end. Didn't want to though. They've got those shelf hanging storage basket things in the bathroom section as well, £5.50. I've popped into the works to see if they've got any academic diaries in for 22, 23, and they have. I'm stuck on an academic diary since home edding and I just haven't um, made the switch yet, you know. So I'm just carrying on. These are £3, this is the sort I get. I don't like the spiral bound. I just find them awkward. And I like these ones, so it's mostly one whole page per day apart from the weekends. I could do with it being a whole page per day every day really because I do stuff at weekends but I'm gonna get that one I think these ones yeah they're the same but the spiral bound they're all three pound they usually have oh yeah the two pound ones look there's not as much space per day but that doesn't suit me I like to write a whole to-do list you know per day so good I've got that oh look at that one now if I didn't need to carry it around in my bag I would well go for one of those that's too big Oh, look, they've got a Dad's Army board game. I used to like Dad's Army, actually. Puzzles. A thousand pieces, that's a small box, isn't it? <laughs> I know somebody would probably like that, you know. <laughs> I'm just meandering now. I've got what I needed. I'm just being attracted by the bright colours. But I don't do art and craft with kids anymore. Walk on him, oh. It was too beautiful and warm to not come out for a walk. I felt that balmy warm air when I got out and that was it. I thought, no, I'm staying out. So I didn't actually stay out. I went back in, dropped the stuff off and then came back out again. And I was hearing the birds singing as well. And I just thought, oh, it's so lovely. You know, I've got really, really lazy lately with my walks. It's been so cold and horrible, but it's 14 degrees at the moment here. I feel so light and free not having to have a coat on. It's brilliant. Oh, blimey, what's that? I heard a great big crash come from up there in that tree, but can't see anything now. Oh, well, onwards we go. I popped into the library on the way back. I wonder if they've got any books on Spain. Because, you know, it's time to get excited for my trip. I decided against the book, I'll just look stuff up online. But I did pick up some lateral flow tests while I was there. I'm back from my walk. And I wasn't gonna say in the vlog about it, I thought, I can't keep going on about this in the vlog all the time, everyone's gonna get bored. But guess what? I've just got the start of a urine infection coming on. Just a little bit at the moment, it's just a twingy niggle. It's uncomfortable, but it's not making me feel ill all over. I'm able to occasionally forget about it. It's like, when it gets really bad, I'm so distracted by it, I can't think about anything else. I can't settle to do anything and I can't even edit, but I'm not at that phase. So I'm gonna try and flush it through with loads of water and the GP gave me some sachets to try, which I've never tried before. Yeah, this stuff. Did I say sodium citrate? I can't remember if I got that right or not, but it's sodium citrate. If I'd have bought it over the counter, it would have been 5.79, but I got it on prescription, so I'm gonna give that a go now. It's got to go in 200 millimetres of water and you drink it down. I had loads and loads of sachets and I of this sort of thing in the past. I don't think it was the exact ingredient, but uh, it, it used to make me gag because I'd have it so often as it would just be coming thick and fast all the time. I haven't had it for years. I tend to have something else now, which is cranberry tablets and demanos. Come on, dissolve. I hope it's not gonna make me feel sick. not a fan. I'll tell you something else I cannot drink and that's Diorolite and nor can Izzy. She was so ill before with really bad uh, stomach upset and she was given Diorolite in hospital and she threw up. Ugh. Oh this is disgusting but I'm gonna have to work my way through it and I, I promised I would. I'd rather take a pill and water. 
I'm going to sort this cupboard out now. I've taken all those out. Some of them are out of date. Anyway, I've bung them there. I'm going to give that a good old clean and then shove the new stuff in. And then when that's all out of the way then, I'm going to put all the loose bits in that foil turkey tray or whatever it is and do the same to the top bit and we'll see how it looks when I've finished. Some time later, all that stuff from the top cupboard is still there and up on the drain board. I'm going to run it through the dishwasher, I think. But anyway, right. <laughs> it's very higgledy piggledy and random, but it's an improvement. Oh, these, these have just passed their date. I was gonna eat them or chuck them, but look, ta da! <laughs> it's kind of better. It looks very empty actually. It looked so full, that bottom cupboard before. Now look at it. So we've got crisps. This can kind of pull out a bit really. Crisps in the bottom, mixed flavours. Here we got like some microwave popcorn, pretzels, one chalky bar thingy. And here it's going to be crackers and biscuits. So we got sweet biscuits in here. And some cheddars. Um, uh, there's room for another box in there, a slimmer one, obviously not one of these. Uh, the top one's there, so I'll be able to put some of my looser Tupperware things in there. Bit more shelf space there for more Tupperware. And a bit more room there for more Tupperware, so hopefully it won't be so chaotic now. I'm kind of pleased with it. It's not the best, but it's an improvement, isn't it? Mission Flush It Through has still been going on. I've drunk another half a litre of water and I'm about to top up another glass. I am fluctuating up and down a bit with it. Up and down, up and down. Um, I've got a horrible feeling tomorrow's vlog I'm going to be full on unwell with it. We'll see. I'm getting quite uncomfortable now. I'm not looking forward to sitting on a chair and editing. I think I'm going to be editing in bed because it's going to be more comfy. Because uh, that's how it goes. Even a chair with a cushion I guess too uncomfortable. But anyway, right. I'm going to end the vlog now. Thank you so much for watching this one. Could you please give it a like if you liked it? It really helps channels to grow. I really appreciate it. And if you are new here and would like to follow more of my stories, you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one. And hopefully, I've flushed it through and I'm not ill. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. See you tomorrow. Bye.